she's some kind of newspaper columnist. Comes in there once in a while. Great temper. What's her drink? Usually beer. Tonight, Grey Goose Martini, dirty. Hi. I noticed your glass was getting a little low, so I took the liberty of bringing you another apple martini. Thank you. And I couldn't help but notice you look a lot like my next girlfriend. What's your name? They call me Chip. Ah, uh, you can't get him to stop? <laughs> that was funny. Listen, Chip, I, I understand the courage it takes to walk across a room and try to generate a relationship out of thin air, so don't take the following personally. You have fantastic eyes. <laughs> Thanks. Try to listen. Uh, but this is no reflection on you. I'm just not interested. But thank you for the compliment of coming over. You're welcome. So do you like Cuban food? Chip, seriously, that was not code for I wish you'd try harder. Are you always so shut down and afraid that the right man might make you feel, feel like, like a natural woman? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, honey. I couldn't get a cab. Uh, how was the meeting? Oh, well, there was a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Nice to meet you, Chip. You too. Now, on the one hand, it is very difficult for a man to even speak to someone that looks like you. But on the other hand, should that be your problem? So life's kind of hard all around. Well, not if you pay attention. I mean, you're sending all the right signals. No earrings, heels under two inches, your hair is pulled back, you're wearing reading glasses with no book, drinking a great goose martini, which means you had a hell of a week and a beer just wouldn't do it. And if that wasn't clear enough, there's always the <laughs> off that you have stamped on your forehead. <laughs> because who's gonna believe that there's a man out there that could sit down beside a woman he doesn't know and genuinely be interested in who she is, what she does, without his own agenda? Yeah, I wouldn't even know what that would look like. So what would a guy like that say? Well, he'd say, my name is Alex Hitchens, and I'm a consultant. But she wouldn't be interested in that, because she'd probably be just counting the seconds until he left. Thinking he was like every other guy. Which life experience has taught her is a virtual certainty. But then he'd ask her name and what she did for a living. And she might blow him off. Or she might say, I'm Sarah Milas. I run the gossip column at The Standard. And then he'd ask all these penetrating questions about it because he was sincerely, if atypically, interested. No. No. He'd be interested. Oh. But he'd see that there was no way he could possibly make her realize that he was for real. Yeah, he could be funny and charming and refreshingly original. Wouldn't help. Don't you hate it when that happens? Not really. They'd both probably go on to lead the lives they were headed toward. And my guess is they'd do just fine. It's a pleasure to have met you, Sarah Milas. Great goose martini from the gentleman who just left. Mm-hmm. <laughs>